Hi everyone and very welcome to another episode of Your Soul Essentials. Today, the 18th of December 2023, is a very special day because we have today in alignment with uh, the fixed star Scythe. That's a fixed star in the Orion constellation and with the um, with our sun in the heavens and with the galactic center. And this special alignment is taking place on a spiritual level. And for today, I just want to talk about it with you. And um, yeah, just let us start and I will take you with me on a journey. Uh, but first, I want to share my screen and let me see where I can do that. Uh, just one moment, please. Oh my goodness, here it is. Okay, now we see. So, we have here that everything is in place, and I'm not blocking everything. So, I made yesterday, I made an overview of um, where the star Scythe, the galactic center, and the sun is uh, placed in this overview, astrological overview. And as you see here on the left side, I'm living in the neighborhood of Maastricht, and that is in the Netherlands. So I took also these uh, longitudes and latitudes. So for today, at 12 o'clock noon, uh, you could find, or you can see here in this overview, that the star Scythe is currently situated in the fourth house in the sign Gemini. And the sun we see here in the sign Sagittarius and in the 10th house and next to it, just one degree in difference, we see a connection with the galactic center also in the 10th house and in the uh, sign Sagittarius. Well, the sun and the galactic center are in conjunct. So basically, that is a very good sign. And when you see here, Scythe is an opposition with the sun and also an opposition with the galactic center. Well, what does it mean? I'm trying or I'm going to try to break this down. And uh, well, the fourth house is all about home, family, nurturing your roots, your self-care, caring also for others, your foundations, being a woman or your feminine energy, a mother, mother energy, but also the energy of the goddess consciousness. Very important. Scythe, as we saw yesterday in the video that I made, and I think today it's also placed... <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, about Saif. So Saif is all about courage, being resilient, uh, shadow work, being a shadow hunter, but also what it takes to have a connection with Saif, that you are the shadow hunter, but it is not your responsibility to work on the shadows of someone else. You're only acting as a mirror. But don't forget it is also in that way that you have to look for yourself. What is my shadow? How I am going to react? Or what is it that the other person is getting mad from me or feeling offended from me, from my presence? What does it do with me? So you also have to look into your own shadow. Is there um, an area that has to be healed or it has to be insp inspired to work on that. So it's not only a shadow from another person, but also the shadow from yourself. <clears throat> uh, 
excuse me. And the sign Gemini is all about being a teenager. The teenager, frustrations and uh, how a teenager reacts. It's also told that the Gemini is also called being the teenager. But there is more. It is about the intelligent, the intelligence that we have, being funny, talkative. It governs the communication, but also our adaptability in life. So therefore, Scythe is sitting today in the fourth house in the sign Gemini. I find it very special. And when we look here in opposition, the 10th house is all about career, reputation, work, father figure, the father energy, but also the male energy. And of course, the father of the God, the God consciousness energy. What does the sign Sagittarius tell us? Well, it's all about open-minded, adventurous, enthusiastic, exploration, but also expansion, higher knowledge, the philosopher or philosophical pursuits. The Sagittarius is often also called the philosopher. So you have here the sun and sun means that it is all about the self, the ego, life force, social status, one's core essence in the 10th house. And it is really special and we see that the galactic center is connected in the sign of Sagittarius at 27 degree. So what is galactic center telling us for today well the galactic center is all about the consciousness of evolution and the consciousness of expansion we saw that also with the sign in Sagittarius it is the higher wisdom that is integrated here or can be integrated and also releasing about your old habits your old truths that doesn't belong to you anymore. You can let it go. The things that are not longer serving you. And when you see that the galactic center has so many influence, and especially also for today, it can be that you are, as when you're having that alignment with Saif, that it can be, maybe today, you are, uh, mirroring the people in their old truths, what they have, what they are clinging on to, what they don't want to let go and keep holding on. And it's why? Because it's feeling good. Yes. And when they're coming someone across who is a shadow hunter, who is mirroring, it can be that you are mirroring their old beliefs and maybe it's time for them to let it go the point is with the galactic um, center is that we um, everyone who has a connection with it with the galactic center is in a certain way wired that we can receive inspiration that we can receive messages just like that in an instant the best thing to do is that you are writing down those messages influences or uh, inspiration i always called inspiration you being inspired by something and you are talking to someone and then those words are flowing through you and the person who hears it thinks oh my god that's exactly the point or the things that I wanted to hear today. So thank you for that. And maybe with Saif in your connection, and as Saif is opposing the sun and opposing the galactic center, it could be in a way that you are inspired 
by some beautiful words, beautiful messages, and that the other person doesn't totally get those words or that inspiration, and he thinks, hmm, well, what can I do with that? Yes, that is one of the advantages or the things around the Galactic Center. It always is ahead in some times. So it can be ahead of three months or six months from now. And that the person is not responding to it or doesn't understand it today. Yes, but you planted the seed with your words. And maybe within a few months, that person is able to understand that message or that inspiration or that feeling what he got from your words at this time. So for today, just take your time, be grounded. And when you say something, okay, maybe the person can take it from you. Or maybe he thinks, well, maybe I park it for a little bit. And then in a few months, he can or she can remember it. But also take a look at yourself. Where are you inspired for today? Where is your shadow lying? In what area? And when you see that you are in your feminine energy for today, are inspired in your male energy today, that can be, or in your career for today. How are you dealing? How are you taking care of your colleagues? How are you taking care of yourself in your work environment? How are you taking care in your own company when you have that? Is there room for your feminine energy? Or maybe you are today reminded on that point. Maybe you can take a little bit more care of yourself in that feminine energy in your work or maybe with your colleagues. So keep remembering, we are all inspired today. It is buzzing with very good energy you can feel it really and if you want to enhance that then do a little meditation make sure that you are grounded today grounded in your feminine energy because in your person as a whole or in being a human as a whole it is important that in your male energy the feminine part can be in balance and also the other way around that in your feminine energy the male energy can be in balance and it has to do for both sexes here on earth are you a male or are you a female so let's be guided today from the galactic center Take a moment for yourself, be still and listen and listen to the beautiful messages that are coming through and be inspired. And yes, maybe it's not always that you can help another person. That's okay. It is also a time of taking care of yourself. Listen and see for your own shadow and maybe when another person is being feeling threatened by you or he or she doesn't understand you or it's getting he or she is getting mad, then take a step back. You not always have to tell the people something. Maybe it's a wise uh, time to be still and just let it be. So, yeah, enjoy this day and um, feel the energy of the Galactic Center. Be inspired to something beautiful. And when you are inspired by the Galactic Center in what life area that is, 
there's there's always something beautiful coming out of it so have a lovely day today and thank you for your time and yeah until the next time bye bye